There are two methods for obtaining the necessary data to run the tutorial in an end-to-end -end fashion. In this video, I'll be going over option one, downloading the data from the web. And we can access the necessary commands by clicking on the dropdown. And I should note that if you are not planning on running all the test cases, you can omit downloading the model input data and the verification data and only download the data for the cases that you intend on running. And so first, we will be changing directory into our project directory. And these commands do assume that you followed the previous steps that are needed to set these appropriate environment variables. Next, we will be making a data directory. And then we will change directory in there. So when we download the data, it will land in the data directory. Next, we will be downloading the derecho specific data and we'll be doing this from the DTC website. And depending on the file size and your internet connection, it may take a moment or two for the tar files to appropriately download. Next up is the Sandy data. And that may take a moment. After Sandy, we will then download the snow data. We have now downloaded all the case specific data. So we'll move on to the CRTM coefficient files. This is a larger file, so it may take a moment for this particular file to successfully download. And once that is done, we'll grab the static geographical data with WPS GIG data. Again, that will also take a moment, even with the reduced resolution, it's still a larger file. And then finally, we'll grab the necessary shape files. And again, this is for the Python plotting. So now we have so successfully downloaded all the files. We'll go ahead and do a listing on the data directory to make sure that they're all there. And we do in fact see the GSI, the model data, the observation data, the shape files, and the WPS GI data for all the different cases. And so that wraps up our brief tutorial on how to access data from downloading from the DTC website.